Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So uh, today we're gonna talk about some work trailer things, but first we're gonna do a quick little uh, peek around the new home because the electrician has been here. Whoa. So Sparky has been around for the last like uh, day or so. And uh, so we have outlets. The outlets are live. We have some lights, which has been really nice. We have some can lights on this side. We have a workbench that I'm finishing, but we won't, we won't talk about that too much. Uh, and then he's also got this whole side of the house trimmed out as well. So um, lights, light switches, outlets, all taken care of. All right, so now you guys got a little spoiler about where the uh, new home is. I'm gonna head outside and we're gonna talk about the ladder rack a little bit. Alrighty, so tried to make this video the other day and it went absolutely terrible because it was like 60 mile an hour wind. Today is at least a little bit better, so we can talk about the ladder rack a little bit. Um, had my buddy Logan welded up, it's all aluminum, and it turned out way better than I could have ever expected. Um, this is phase one. We're gonna do a second phase probably this summer, but uh, well, I'll explain that as we get into it. So here is a shot. Uh, maybe we should get out of the shadow. Um, we'll do a little walk around. I was trying to avoid this side because muddy but there's a lot more sun over here, so. So here is a little shot of the ladder rack. We've got five cross members up there. Uh, everything clears my light bars, which there will be a video coming soon about adding all of my new light bars. So we have lots of light. Uh, trailer currently is at nine foot six to the top of the, um, top of the ladder rack so anything above that is all extra but minimum clearance now on the trailer is nine and a half feet tall um all right so let's go inside and let's talk about why we did what we did all right so inside we have some stuff that needs to go home but uh i will show you why the trailer has been completely gutted the ladder rack itself actually bolts down through this member up here, which this is like a one by three or something like that. Maybe I'm not, not, not too sure, haven't measured it. But um, there's a capture nut inside this one and then it's through bolted here. This is the second member, it's through bolted there. That is the third member, it is through bolted there. Fourth member has got a through bolt and a capture nut inside this one. And then the last one is through bolted out on the end. So um, we had to take this entire side apart. As you guys know, this one was gutted. We took this entire side apart, including the sheeting, so that we could through bolt the members on. Now I can take some time to insulate everything and get everything wired that needs to be wired. And then we can start the resheeting process. All right, so starting up here now, I am on top of the trailer. You can see we have five nice members. They are all built out of two by three aluminum. Um, he did some really cool looking miters on them, which actually look pretty cool because they match the back rack on the truck. Um, it's the little things in life, right? So we're eventually gonna do a catwalk down the middle instead of putting the plank here. And there will also be uh, an up and over ladder off of like somewhere on this side. It'll come up and connect in and then the catwalk will go down and out. This is just like the normal setup that I use for uh, when we're running a plank and ladder jack. So this is 224s and uh, a 16 foot plank and we usually put um, these up when we're doing like siding and stuff like that. So that's why these are out here now. So uh, the maiden voyage has been uh, pretty good so far. But uh, if we were to stack these up, you know, and put like two ladders tall, two planks tall on this side, we would still have plenty of room for other ladders on that side. So uh, in the near future, I'll be looking to start upgrading ladders and adding more to the uh, stash and maybe some more planks as well. Uh, the 16 is great, but I think a 20 would be awesome. Uh, just give me a little bit more. Plus, if I put it in the center of the trailer, it won't hang off the front and back too bad. Um, just a little bit. So that is the ladder rack up top. Uh, like I said, eventually we'll do the catwalk, which will be mint. We also, uh, this last weekend, um, got rid of the old roof vent. Uh, so that has been patched back in. Um, obviously, we don't want that in the way because we're going to have 
to insulate it and it wasn't going to open anymore because it would have opened into that member um and then eventually somewhere out here is where we're going to try to mount up the uh the air conditioner we'll have to see how that goes there's not a lot of room there now that i'm actually looking at it but we'll we'll, we'll solve those problems when we get there one thing at a time right fellers so that is uh that is the ladder rack um i feel like crazy tall up here i'm almost at the garage peak but it is what it is so i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, i'll go ahead and get this one going next because this weekend i plan on rewiring and adding all of my new stuff to the trailer as far as 12 volt accessories go so um, i'll probably also finish the clearance lights that i still haven't finished from like two years ago but that is what it is so stay tuned i'm gonna keep working on this trailer and get this thing going back together we've got about a month left on our new home build and then i have to be back to being mobile so i've got about a month to get this thing back in action um, make sure to subscribe down below like and comment let me know what you guys think and uh, if you were going to build a ladder rack would you do it like this or would you do something different thanks and we're signing off